This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. O God, our Father, and Lord, who brings you back to the Father, the fortune of service today. We pray that you will meet every need, every desire, and every expectation according to your will and purpose for our lives. Please bless our pastor and every leader and participant in this precious experience today. Let the words of my mouth and the dedication of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord.
Lord God, continue to move in a healing way through our church body. Some people are sick and they probably don't call in and let no one know, but Lord God, you know, you're the doctor. And we learned earlier this week in our lesson that if we seek forgiveness of sin, there's a healing process that comes with that. So we just thank you for the healing process right now. And those that are need, Lord God, meet every need and every expectation of everyone under the voice, under this voice right now, under your cloud that you call your children. And as we go through 2021, we expect more and more great things because we know that you're in the business. Yes, if we see, continue to watch over our, our politician leaders, Lord God, as we get ready to make a change, Lord God. Lord God, have us more prepared and more mindset, Lord God, so that we can remember that this country was built on no work and that we have fallen short. So forgive us for falling short. Our poor fathers, they didn't mean it to be like it is. They didn't know all, but we know that you know all, so we just thank you right now that you make a change in this new season. Touch the man and the woman that will be leading this country, Lord God. Anoint them with your favor, Lord God. Lord God, we know they're not there because we voted they're there because you chose them to be there for this season, Lord God. So we ask that you continue to bless and watch over them, Lord. Keep your angels encamped around them. And those that are under them, the senators and, and the Supreme Court and all of them, Lord God, let them understand what true justice is. And not because we're speaking, but because of what your word is saying. We give you all praise and all glory. It's in that name, Jesus, that we pray. And we thank you.
scripture from Malachi 3, 6, 8 says, For I am God. I do not change. I am, I am God. I am the Lord. I do not, do not change. And, and uh, that led us to explore his attributes.
You shall not worship anything else outside of me. Amen. And God wanted us to know that he is jealous. Yeah. He is, he is, he, he, he loved us. Mm. And he wanted us to love him. Yeah. He wanted us to be faithful and dedicated to him. So he says, he says, I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God. I, 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 I don't want you, I don't want you fooling around with other things to get your mind off me. Uh -oh. And then he says, he says, number two, you should, you shall love, you should not make, you, you shall have no other God before me. And then he says, you shall not make for yourself a curved or hard uh, image. I don't want any images that you're going to set up and worship in place of me. Uh, images, uh, whether it's they are heavenly or whether they are earthly or whether they are underwater, I don't want any image trying to resemble me because uh, uh, I, I am I am spiritual, and there is no image that can be made like me. And number three, you shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. Don't 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 allow uh, your conversation to be other than about the God you know. And I don't want to be compared to anyone else uh, because they have less power and authority than I do. Remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. I want you to have a day of rest where you don't do any work. I just want you to uh, uh, think about and worship me. I want you to rest from your labor. I don't want you to be involved in anything else but just rest yeah. and and allow your mind and your heart to stay in tune with me. And he says, uh, uh, honor your father and your mother. They they are they are they are the persons who stand as representation of my love, of my divine care. Uh, they are caregivers, and you are to honor them and respect them. And uh, and it's, it's a sad day as, that we live in that we see how disrespectful children are towards their parents. And he says, if you really want to live a long time, if you really want to have an enjoyable and fruitful life, you're going to have to learn to honor, respect, and obey your parents. You should not murder. Um, uh, and we, we learn through our biblical studies that you don't have to take a weapon to murder an individual. You can murder them by with words. You can murder them by uh, uh, not being truthful, dedicated, and committed, uh, 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 speaking up in behalf of an individual, and instead of keeping our mouth closed when we should defend them. Right. And then it says, you should not commit adultery. Adultery, uh, 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 that we should not go beyond the parameters of our commitment and our responsibility in a marriage relationship. And then he goes so far to say, that uh, uh, adultery doesn't have to be an act, it can be the lust thereof, mm -hmm. and which would equal the same as the act. And he says, you should not steal. Don't, don't take that, that does not belong to you. Uh, don't involve yourself in those things that, that you, uh, uh, that, that belong to someone else, and, yeah. and if you, Take that that does not belong to you, then you are stealing. Mm -hmm. You should not bear false witness. Make sure when you 
uh, speak of the truth, that you are talking that you know, that you are testifying of that in which you have seen. And it says, you shall not covet your neighbor's house. Don't, don't be so much concerned about what your neighbor has. Uh, 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 look at your own house. Look in your own house. Be, be concerned about your own stuff. Don't, 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 don't concentrate more on what they have that you lose sight on what you have been blessed with. Leave what your neighbor had alone. Don't, don't covet uh, uh, try to uh, possess uh, what you had. Uh, just be content with what you have. Jesus, Jesus in his coming, Jesus revived uh, these laws as they are recorded in the Gospel of Matthew and Mark. I want to read them both because uh, it will give us some consolation in our, our understanding. Je Jesus, Jesus says, you shall Love the Lord your God yes, yes. with all your heart, yes. with all your soul, yes. with all your mind. Verse 38, this is the first and great commandment. 39 says, and the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. And then on verse 40, he says, on these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Mark 12, 29 to 31, Jesus uh, answered, uh, said, the first of all the commandments is this, hear, O Israel, the Lord, our God, the Lord is one, and you shall love the Lord, your God, with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your strength. This is the first commandment, and the second is lack this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. This is, there is no other commandment greater than these. There is no other commandment greater than these. If God gets our mind, if God gets our heart, if God gets our soul, if God gets our strength, all right, all right. it covers everything in the Ten Commandments. Because uh, if, he, if he possesses us, then we have everything in place that we need in order to qualify ourselves uh, all of his requirements. Mm. And this is what Jesus said in his teaching on the Sermon on the Mount. Jesus said, do not think that I've come to destroy the law of the prophets. Yes. That's Matthew 5, 17 through 19. That I did not come to destroy, but to fulfill. So when I use the term that he revised the Ten Commandments, in, in the Gospel of Matthew and Mark, he didn't come to destroy it. He didn't come to take anything from it. But he came to make it clear for us to have a better life in relationship to each other and to him. For surely I say to you, till earth and heaven pass away, one jot or one tittle 
will by no means pass from the law until all is fulfilled. That means he wants our heart, he wants our mind, he wants our soul, yeah. he wants our strength. Yeah. And he says in verse 19, who, uh, whoever therefore breaks one of the least of these commandments and teach men so shall be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever does and teach them, he shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. I want you to understand today, we cannot be righteous in the sight of God on our own merits. Since the fall of man in the garden of Eden, People have been inherently unrighteous. Yeah. As the prophet Isaiah said, we are all like unclean, uh, like an unclean thing. And all our righteousness are like filthy rags. Mm. We all fade as a leaf. And our iniquities, like the wind, has taken away. People must have God's righteousness imputed or transferred to them. The cross of Jesus is a public demonstration of God's righteousness. God transfers the righteousness of Christ to those who trust in him. Yes. We do not become righteous because of our inherent goodness. Okay. We cannot be good enough. We cannot do enough good things. Yes. God sees us as righteous because of our identification by faith in his son. Yeah. Unless we unless we love him, unless we follow him, mm -hmm. unless we put our trust in him, unless we are obedient to him, then we have no, we don't carry that identification that we need for God to identify or see us as we are yeah. God, number three, God is, is love. Yes, is. Love, love, love is the essential, self-given nature of God. Yes. Meaning that God gives yes. and has taught, trying to teach us how to give with the same nature attitude and spirit. God loved, love for humankind seek to awaken a responsive love of, of, of God really in us. The scripture says in 1 John 14 11, in this is love. Not that we love God, hmm. but that he loved us yes. and sent his son to be the perpetuation for our sin. Yes. Beloved, if God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. In the same text it says, uh, uh, if anyone says, I love God, and hate his brother, he is a liar. For he who does not love his brother, yeah. whom he has seen, yeah. how can you love God whom you have not seen? And this is the commandment yeah. we have from him, that he who loves God must love his brother also. And then and Paul, Paul writing in the book of Romans 12, 9, he says, let love be without hypocrisy, yeah. a, a poor, a, a 
stay away from uh, what is evil, but hold on to and cling to that which is good. Yeah. First Corinthians, known as the love chapter, uh, 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 13, 4 through 8, it says, love suffers long. Yeah. Love, love, love is kind. People, people may not be kind to you, but but if you love, if you have the love of God, you will love them in spite of. Right. And you don't stop loving because people don't uh, respond the way you think they should. But, 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 but it says, love suffers yeah. a long time. No. You, 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 you can, you can, you, 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 you may talk about it. You, you may, you may do evil things. You may experience hurtful things. And you, 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 people may do, uh, do things that you know, uh, that they know you know that are going to hurt them, but love suffer through them. Love, love, love does not end. Love, love does not, does not try to get even. Love, 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 love lets you let you think you're getting away with something, but girl, we know that if God is in us, yeah. God will take care of us. Yeah. And we, we don't we don't have to worry about uh, 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 trying uh, to be disappointed about what you have, what you possess, and because we know that God will take care yeah. of our situation. Yeah. Love does not parade itself trying to be more than what it is. Yeah. Um, if, if, if you love, love, people will recognize it. If you love, you don't have to uh, put it on uh, on parade. You don't have to put it on a, 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 a stand to be seen. You don't have to talk about how much you love. You don't have to talk about how uh, you love everybody. Just, just love. Uh, 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 love is not is not puffed up. You don't you don't you don't try to be uh, good today and and then you have an attitude tomorrow. It's, uh, and love works the same every every day. It's like the light switch. You turn it or whatever you turn it on. It, if the, if, the, if you have connection, it's working. And, and, and you love people in spite of situations. Don't allow them to control your life. Don't allow them to take advantage of your life. Don't allow them to try and use you. You're not, don't, 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 don't allow them to get so next to you until you lose control of yourself. Love does not behave rudely. You don't have to be rude and nasty to people because they are nasty and rude to you. Uh, uh, you should have sense enough to walk away from certain situations. Jesus says, you know, if, if, if a person a person don't know Christ, they don't know how to deal with the spiritual nature and things of Christ. Love does not seek its own. Love, love is self-given. Love is not provoked. You can't, you can't make me do what I know I shouldn't do. You, you, love, 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 love cannot be misled. And love cannot be misrepresented. It says love thinks no evil. That means that that we get our minds and our hearts out the gutter. We think the best of people. We love them because they belong to God. We, we love them because God loved us. We, 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 we love them because we know what God has done in our lives and we know what God can do for them. So in spite of, of their contrariness, we just keep on loving them. Love, love does not rejoice in the iniquity of others. We don't we don't rejoice when others fall. We don't we don't rejoice when others make mistakes. We don't we don't rejoice at at, 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 at people who 
have fallen short because we know that 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 if we keep on living, yeah. if we keep on doing the right thing, yeah. that's why we don't have to worry about trying to get even because God will take care of us, take care of every situation. But it says, love rejoice in the truth. Uh, uh, that 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 which is of God, that 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 which God gives us, that which we know is truthful, we know that which is of God, we rejoice and be glad in that. We rejoice with people when they come and make that public declaration. It also says that love. There are all things. We have a burden to bear. And that's why I love God. Just as He looked beyond our faults and see our needs, He wants us to know that we must also uh, look beyond the mistakes and faults of other people. Uh, uh, love. Believe all things, uh, love, hope all things, and love endure all things. He said, love, love never fails. But whether they are opposite, they shall fail. Whether, whether they are tongue, they will see. But where there is knowledge, it will vanish. We, we, we will lose all the elements. But, but, but what he says, he says, uh, uh, now abide in faith, hope, and love. Mm -hmm. But the greatest of these yeah. is love. Yeah. God loved and gave. Yeah. He gave and only he got himself. Mm -hmm. God, God, God loved and sought us just as a shepherd seeks his sheep. Yeah. When people say that they found God, no, you didn't find him. He sent his son to find us. Yeah. He came seeking yeah. to save those who were lost. Yeah. God, God loved and suffered. Yeah. He suffered on a cross for us. Mm. Not, not, not because, not because uh, uh, for himself, but he suffered because he loved us so much that he took the humiliation, he took the suffering, he took the pain, he did all of that for us. God demonstrated his love by giving all he had on the cross. And I was saying to us today that he would have the cross. To let the cross where I first saw the light. To yeah. let the cross where the burden of my heart was thrown away. Yeah. It was the cross. Uh, and I and I, I would suggest to you today that there's still room at the cross. Yeah. If, you, if you want to know, if you want to know yeah. what Jesus did for you. If you want to know what he had done for us, if you want to know what he had done for humanity, yes. look at the cross. Yes. Yes. That room today, yes. you you can you can find you can find him, you can find him, and you can find rest. Yes. You can find peace. Yes. You can find happiness. Hallelujah. You can find joy. Yes. I am. I want you to know today. Another songwriter who said that uh, because of what Jesus did on the cross, yeah, yeah. Jesus redeemed me. Yeah, yeah. Jesus paid a price for me. Yeah. And Jesus has changed Hallelujah. my whole life. Yeah. If anybody, anybody in all recognize yeah. what I'm doing in this life, Anybody don't know who I am? You just tell them that he is a member yeah. of those who've been redeemed. Yeah. But God, God, fourthly, God is truth. Yeah. God, God, God is truth. Truth, truth is a moral and personal character. 
characteristic of God. All truth, all truth, whether natural, physical, or religious, yeah. is grounded in God. Yeah. He is the God of truth. The psalmist declares, your law is true. Mm -hmm. All your commandments are true. And the entirety of your word is true. Yeah. Because of his perfect nature and will, mm -hmm. God has to speak and act in truth. Yeah. He cannot lie. Yeah. Je Jesus, Jesus is the word of God yeah. who became flesh, yeah. the only begotten of the Father, yeah. full of grace and truth. Mm -hmm. All that Jesus said is true yeah. because he told the truth he heard from God his Father. He promised his disciple that he would send the spirit of truth, a helper who would abide in Christians yeah. forever. Yeah. God is truth. Yeah. The spirit is truth. Yeah. Jesus is the truth. Yeah. Jesus said, I am the way, yeah. the truth, and the life. Yeah. No, no man come to the Father except through me. You, you, you may look for another way, you may seek another way, but, but Jesus is the only way. If you want to come to him, if you want to enter the kingdom, you have to come through him. Jesus, Jesus, and the spirit of truth, which he gave through his apostles, his apostles, was to know the law was given through Moses, yeah. but grace and truth came through yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. He is the truth. Yeah. That's why when I look at the hymn, oh, the bell hymn in Father Republic, which said, My eyes have seen the glory. Of the coming of the Lord. He is trembling out the vintage where the great wrath is rewarded. He has loosed the faithful lightning of his terrible swift sword. And he said, His truth is marching on. His truth is marching on. Glory. Glory, hallelujah, our God, truth in marching on. Glory, hallelujah, God's truth in marching on.
you for all that you have done. We know that we cannot make it without you. We know that we need you every day of our lives. And for us, and your love and your grace and, and your tender mercy. Bless those today who have heard the word. If they are outside of the rest of your safety, pray that you would be out there again and closer to thee. Help them to make up their mind that they need you to make it in this life. Because one day they have to face you in the church. Keep us. Keep us. In Jesus we have. Amen. Let us, let us not forget especially our young people. I never want them to forget the sacrifices that so many people made to make it possible for us to be here today. I don't want them to forget um, the person who took on the responsibility of sacrificing his time, his energy, to bring about a change in his life that God created us equally. And through the uh, tiredness of Rosa Park when she yeah. took her seat on the bus, and through the effort and leadership of Martin Luther King, that we have we have come through many falls, many trials, and many tribulations, many alive and many loss. The loss and the sacrifice of trying to bring freedom to mankind. Recognizing the fact that we all are God's people, that we are one in Him. And through it all, we want them to know that, that although they may not recognize it, but God's truth yeah. is marching. So as we, as we celebrate his birthday on tomorrow, uh, let, us, let us do something kind for somebody. Let us do a chore that would affect the lives of, of, of the lives of life of somebody of someone of some group yeah. that we can we can keep contributing to the effort that put forth many years ago. Yeah. We we're not we're not all free yet. Yeah. We've had we had we had we have some people with the mindset that this world only belongs to a certain class of people. This is God's world. Yeah. And it belongs to all of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So as we put forth this special effort in celebrating King's birthday on tomorrow, yeah. let us keep that in mind. Let us keep it before our young people. Let us, let us let them know that, that we have to keep preparing ourselves educationally. Uh, uh, we have to change things many times on the inside. It's okay to march, but we have to be, be able, when the door open to come in and be able to take your seat at the table when the door is open. So let, let's, let's pay value on what they should do with the themselves. Let us pray for each other. Keep each other in prayer. Let us pray for the coming administration that they would do much to help um, um, 
ease of mind of those persons uh, who have been promised one thing and discover they have not, uh, the promise has not been kept. And um, uh, so let us pray for uh, Biden and Harris team, with their, uh, the team who have joined them in order to make a difference in our community. So let us pray for them and their success. Let us, uh, uh, let us not grow weary, let us not grow bitter because of the things people have done and people are doing. I would ask you to please be careful, uh, be mindful, watchful, and prayerful as we go. God will take care of us.